Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Mina san, ohayou gozaimasu. And today is a relatively short video. This time I'm feeding some Monos and Trovis Balfouri. Now I don't have too many of these guys left. I believe I have around 18 of these, maybe around 20 or so. These are all holdbacks that I'm keeping, which I am raising these up to the future breeders. So, let us feed these guys and sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves. But before we do so, please like, comment, and subscribe and support this channel so that way you guys can help me as an upcoming creator and I can show you what happens behind the scenes of a tarantula breeder. So I do have two adult females, so I'm hoping I can get at least one male out of all these bunches here and maybe I can actually breed them. And oh boy, I am so ready to breed these guys again. <laughs> this species, in my opinion, is the easiest tarantula to breed of all time. Now, I know that old world tarantulas are considered not for beginner, you know, tarantula keepers. But for breeding, these guys are so easy to breed. It requires zero effort. I have never in my life experienced easy tarantula breeding than this species. Now this is just me speaking from my experience, so there goes your disclaimer. But in terms of my experience, these are the easiest species I've ever worked with. Because the females in my experience are usually very nice on the males. And also, when it comes to pulling the egg sac, this species you don't really need to because this species can be kept communally. So meaning that you can leave the egg sac with the mom and let her and her babies, you know, stay together and they can form a colony. I've seen videos, pictures, and you know, a lot of other stuff of people keeping this species communally successfully. Now for me, since I'm a tarantula breeder, I actually like to separate my babies because that way I can individually monitor each one and pretty much raise them up properly or accordingly to how I see fit. Now for the typical hobbyists or for those individuals who want to keep tarantulas more interesting, this is the species to get because you can literally put like a lot in a colony and they'll pretty much do fine as long as you give them the adequate space and all the necessities then they'll thrive pretty well actually it is like watching a big family having a thanksgiving or <laughs> or something like something sort of like that it's pretty interesting actually to see a communal of in Balfouri. this species is also readily available because people do breed this species quite a lot because they're easy to breed, you can house them communally, and they're actually pretty beautiful because they grow out to have these beautiful blues on them, especially on their legs, which is how they get their name, the Socotra Island Blue Leg Baboon Tarantula. Very beautiful indeed for a common name. You know what? I'll tell you this, any tarantula that has blue on it, people will buy them. <laughs> blue is the secret color to get anybody to buy a tarantula. I'll tell you that. Now that is a great marketing strategy for me. Now from my experience, any tarantula that has blue in their name, people tend to get interested, such as the Goody Sapphire Ornamental, the Green Bottle Blue, the Kilobrachy Species Electric Blue, and you pretty much get the gist. <laughs> it's, it's all about the blue. Now for me, I honestly don't care about the blue at all. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled for saying that. I think blue is a great color on a tarantula, but it's not the color I desire. Okay, okay, okay. Hear me out, guys. My favorite color on any tarantula is purple. If I see purple on a tarantula, I'm intrigued. That's, <laughs> that's really all it takes. Violet or purple. Which is why my favorite tarantula of all time is the Peace Lotharia Ornata. If you put the proper lighting on it, you will see some sort of purple, which makes it look very beautiful. Now you just gotta get the lighting and you angle it just right. It's kind of like a photo shoot, <laughs> if, uh, if that's the right term to put it. Now I don't have any plans for what I'll do next week, so next week's video is actually a question mark. It's basically a mystery because even I don't know what I'm going to do for next week's video. All I'm doing is I'm just going with the flow of what I normally do, which is basically the, you know, the typical tarantula work such as feeding, rehousing, and updating. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I might actually do a rehousing video. I may show you some of the styles that a tarantula breeder does when it comes to rehousing. I don't know how I'll do things, but we just kind of had to wait and see. Now I do hope everyone enjoys this content, 
And if you guys do, then please support the channel. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with my content. And also, feel free to check out my social media links, such as my Instagram, my Twitter, and follow me on there, guys. So that way, you know what I'm up to. And also, support the channel. And with that, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.